Please stand. <coughs> As it's being celebrated with a happy repose of the soul of Gerald Metzner. Like the eyes of slaves in the hands of their lords, all our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, in my fault and my failure to God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Convert us, O God, our Savior, and instruct our minds in your heavenly teaching, that we may benefit from the works of Lent, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal, you shall not lie or speak falsely to one another. You shall not swear falsely by my name, thus profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. <coughs> you shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day labor. You shall not curse to death or put a stomach block in front of the blind, but you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not act dishonestly in rendering judgment. Show neither partiality to the weak, nor deference to the mighty, but judge your fellow men justly. You shall not go about spreading slander among your kin, nor shall you stand by idly when your neighbor's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart. Though you may have to reprove him, do not incur sin because of him. Do not revenge or cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Amen. Your words, Lord, are the spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy. Give, give wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart <coughs> find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your, Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. When the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the angels with Him, He will sit upon His glorious throne. 
and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on the right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, and heir the kingdom prepared for you, for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. And the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and gave you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothed you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brethren of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill, and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and did not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> so the season of Lent encompasses 40 days, and we consider this a Lenten journey, because it is. And so we've already begun the journey, we began last week on the start of this journey. And what the ultimate goal of this 40 days is preparing our hearts in order to be able to truly celebrate Easter well. And it's a consequential destination that we have. And today's reading really shed light on the path of what we need to do as we are approaching that final destination and preparing for Easter glory. So the first reading, the Lord gives Moses commands to pass on to the people of the Israelite community. And following these commands will create a right relationship with God and with our neighbor. And of all the commands, they, they really are, include not stealing, being honest, not slandering others, and not hating. But the last thing that we hear from these commands is that we are to love our neighbor as ourselves. So getting right with God also means getting right with those around us. And then in the Gospel, Jesus foretells what the judgment of the nations will appear like. When the Son of Man comes in glory, we will be separated based on how we treated those, treated those especially those who are most in need. When we feed the hungry, when we give, give drink to the thirsty, when we welcome the stranger, when we clothe the naked, when we take care of those who are ill, when we visit those who are in prison, we are indeed serving God himself. Jesus has, is teaching us not just to care for our neighbor, the ones that we see regularly. <laughs> He's teaching us that also we, can, we must aid those who are most ignored in our society. And ultimately, this successful Lenten journey <laughs> includes forming a just relationship with God and with our neighbor, but recognizing exactly who our neighbor is, and being the most marginalized as our neighbors. So as we continue our Eucharistic prayer, let us pray for the grace to continue to step with confidence on our Lenten journey. <laughs> Trusting in God's mercy and compassion, we now bring our prayers to Him. For bishops around the world, may God continue to bless their efforts to teach us how to love God and our neighbor 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may the Lord guide them in attending to the needs of the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, especially in the Ukraine, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from physical and mental illness, may the loving hand of Jesus provide consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit continue to draw us closer to God during this Lenten season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died. Remember especially the intention of today's Mass, Gerald Kratzer. May our Heavenly Father welcome them into the eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of abundance, we humbly ask you to look upon these prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Watch my inequities, don't Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of this name, for our good and good of all this loving church. May this devout revelation be acceptable to you, O Lord, that by the power it may sanctify our manner of life and gain for us the conciliation and pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from the disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of the passing world as to hold fast to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord. Make holy the Lord's gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Alfred our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify <coughs> you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Those who are able to be with us today are able to receive the Eucharist at this time. I'll now pray a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen, I say to you, whatever you do for the least of my brethren, you did it to me, says the Lord. Come, you blessed of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Thank you. 
Let's pray. We pray, O oh Lord, that in receiving your sacraments we may experience help in mind and body, so that kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of your heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Enlighten the minds of your people, Lord, we pray with the light of your glory, that they may see what must be done and have the strength to do what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you in the heart, we pray. And do thou, O Christ, the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into the all Satan. And all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking their own souls. Amen. Have a good day, everyone. Yes,